All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about a deal that was just announced that has monumental ramifications for the cryptocurrency world. I don't think people have digested it yet. I want to just talk about it and get it out there because I do think it's going to take some time for this to impact the crypto market, but this is a massive, massive game-changing deal in my opinion. So the deal is between BlackRock and Coinbase. So I'm gonna look at those two companies, but really that's not the big game changer. To me, the big game changer in this is for Bitcoin. So I'm gonna go through all of that and explain why that is. We cover Bitcoin, the Bitcoin miners, and the cryptocurrency world all the time on this channel. So if that's content you're interested in, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody could please smash the like button, that helps the channel out a lot. It helps get this video out to more people and it helps the channel grow. So I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. So let's talk about this deal. BlackRock teams up with Coinbase in crypto market expansion. Okay, so a lot of you may know exactly who BlackRock and Coinbase are. For those of you who don't, I'm just gonna spend a minute. BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the world. So we're gonna look at their balance sheet. They have a monumental amount of money under management. They're one of the most influential players in the entire financial market. Their annual letter actually is one of the things. They did a letter at the beginning of the year to their shareholders and they basically focused that annual letter on ESG, and it was really probably the most damaging thing to cryptocurrency and the Bitcoin miners. It, I think it's one of the main things that started this downward spiral, and obviously, among many other things, is partially responsible for sending us into certainly a bear market, and, and with the altcoins, really kind of a full-blown crypto winter. But this announcement today represents a 180-degree turnaround. This is, this is, to me, that's why I think this is a game-changer. And when you see the amount of money that BlackRock has, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So the first thing that this did is it had a big impact on Coinbase. Coinbase has been in the news a lot lately. I did do a video on Coinbase last week. You can check that out right here. And they've got a lot of other things going on. Essentially, they've been in the news for all the wrong reasons for the last couple of weeks. And I won't revisit that. Again, you can watch that other video if you wanna learn more about that. But this is being in the news for the right reason. This is a massive, massive partnership. Let me go through this article and tell you what the deal is. And then we'll talk a little bit about Coinbase and the effect it's having on that. And then BlackRock. And then ultimately I wanna talk about Bitcoin because you'll see it is specifically called out in this article and in this deal that they're making. So let's take a look. And this is from Bloomberg. BlackRock teams up with Coinbase in crypto market expansion. BlackRock is partnering with Coinbase Global to make it easier for institutional investors to manage and trade Bitcoin, marking a major push into cryptocurrencies for the world's largest asset manager. So there it is right there. This is the world's largest asset manager. So shares of Coinbase soared 32% to $106 at 9.36 a.m. in New York, triggering a temporary trading halt. Top BlackRock clients will be able to use its Aladdin investment management system to oversee their exposure to Bitcoin along with other portfolio assets such as stocks and bonds and to facilitate financing and trading on Coinbase's exchange, according to a statement Thursday. So they are partnering with Coinbase to manage their clients' investments in cryptocurrency. And then they go on to say, the focus of the partnership with Coinbase, the biggest US crypto trading platform, will initially be on Bitcoin. So that is a direct quote, BlackRock said. So they are moving into the cryptocurrency world. They're teaming up with Coinbase. Coinbase is the largest US cryptocurrency exchange. And BlackRock, is the largest asset manager in the world. So just for fun, pick any of your favorite companies and go take a look at who their top three shareholders are. And there's like a 90% chance that BlackRock is one of them. They are invested in almost everything. The move underscores how Wall Street's traditional financing players are expanding deeper into crypto and related technologies, even after this year's meltdown in such assets. Bitcoin has lost about half of its value in 2022, while the collapse of the Terra ecosystem, Three Arrows Capital have raised questions about the resilience of the market and prompted increased regulatory scrutiny. So we know all of that's going on. We've covered that on this channel a lot. So it, it then goes on to say Coinbase is facing a probe by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission into whether or not the company let 
Americans trade digital assets that should have been registered as securities. So again, I did another video talking about all that. They have that issue and several more. BlackRock chose to partner with Coinbase because of its scale in the market and the role in providing trading custody services prime brokerage and reporting capabilities. The services will be available for clients of both companies. This is from BlackRock. Our institutional clients are increasingly interested in gaining exposure to digital asset markets and are focused on how to efficiently manage the operational life cycle of their assets. The Coinbase partnership between BlackRock and Aladdin is an exciting milestone for our firm, said the head of Coinbase. And in a separate statement said, we are committed to pushing the industry forward and creating new access points as institutional crypto adoption continues to rapidly accelerate. So institutional money is where the vast majority of the money is. So this is a big, big relationship. And, and the relationship between cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in specific and institutional money is really in its infancy. So that's a relationship that could stand to potentially 100x over the next five or 10 years. And this, I think, this agreement, I think, will be marked as the beginning of that process, or at least the first major milestone. For BlackRock, this partnership is the next step in a wider strategy to expand into digital assets. Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink said in March that the firm was studying the growing importance of digital assets and stable coins and how they can be used to help clients. So this is the same Larry Fink that wrote the annual letter to shareholders, based basically focusing on ESG in such a way that was deeply damaging to Bitcoin in specific as it uses proof of work. So that narrative has been spiraling all year this year. This has to be looked at inside of that framework because this is the, this same Larry Fink now is teaming up with Coinbase to help their customers buy Bitcoin. Okay, so first let's just take a quick look at how this affects Coinbase. They're trading at $95.47 right now. They're up 18% on the day. They were up a lot more than that. Trading was halted. But to put it in perspective, you'll see their 52-week low was $40. So just a few months ago, they were trading at $40. Just a few minutes ago, they were trading at $115. So that is a massive, massive swing. It seems like this is settling down a little bit. This will have a big impact on Coinbase, and we're seeing that in today's price action. Just to put things in perspective, here's BlackRock. They're up 0.5%. That's how big BlackRock is. So while this is potentially a game changer for Coinbase and the entire crypto universe, this isn't even moving the needle on BlackRock. They're a $105 billion market cap and they have almost $10 trillion under management. So we'll take a look at that number. That's right, $10 trillion. So these guys are in charge of a massive amount of the wealth that will be invested in the stock market. And if they are making a shift into cryptocurrency and they specifically said they will be focusing on Bitcoin. So to me, we'll see how this unfolds, but that is big, big game-changing news in my opinion for Bitcoin. So just to take a look at how big BlackRock is, this is their assets under management. So you're gonna see the reporting as of March 31st, and this number is actually down. It was as high as $11 trillion. They are at $9.5 trillion under management. So to put that in perspective, this chart has to be measured in millions. So most of the balance sheet and income statements you'll look at will either be in real numbers or they'll be measured in thousands. These guys have to measure it in millions. To really put things into perspective for me, If look at the cash they have under management. They have $725 billion of cash. So th this is a monster, monster asset manager. You know, like they said, this is the largest asset manager in the world. This is, represents a massive amount of money and you know they don't have to go all in on Bitcoin if they just move one or two or three or five percent of their money over into cryptocurrency and into Bitcoin that is gonna have a profound effect on the price of Bitcoin so you'll see for the moment this is the Bitcoin on the 15 minute chart when this news came out it had an immediate push up in Bitcoin it's pulled all the way right back to where it was an hour ago so in the short term this is not really having a giant impact this is more of a long-term story and I think this is gonna play out over the rest of the year we'll have to see how committed BlackRock is to this relationship if we see them moving more of their large clients into cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in specific. Again, this to me should be a giant catalyst towards Bitcoin 
maybe getting out of this bear cycle and starting back into a bull cycle. So I just wanted to get this story out right away. This is basically hot off the presses. I wanted everybody to know what's going on because in my opinion, this is one of the big stories of the year. So again, this is not financial advice. You guys can judge what you think this does to Coinbase and to BlackRock and of course to Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency world in general. So I just wanted to get you the information as fast as I could. If you made it this far, please remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.